Welcome back to the horse horsemanship. Of course, y'all know Brave Eagle by now. Look, we got cloudy skies and rain. So it's pretty well, ground pin's not too bad, but the rest of it is pretty wet. So it's screw my day. Um, just tidbits. <laughs> Did the Project Cowboy, left me and my horse in the warm-up arena so we didn't even get to the trail class got to the trail class we would have done pretty good but we didn't but got to ride with a good group of guys and we're all keeping in touch and we got on a little Facebook thing so we can see what's going on with one another so and it's all not for not because We've been talking to Travis, a TV producer, and we're going to get a show together, and so it wasn't a waste of time. We're going to revisit the the spin with Brave Eagle, and there are some things you got to have before you even start. And I prefer a good neck rein on a horse before I start. Like Brave Eagle, if I touch his neck, he'll go one way. My off rein, I just touch his neck, he'll respond to it. Um, now, on equipment, I just thought of that. Uh, I'm using a, pretty much a solid bit. In other words, if I pick up one side, it's going to interfere with the other. For y'all at home, you need an independent action bit. In other words, if I pick up this side, it's not going to interfere with the other. And uh, it was so nice, I was watching Cox the other night, one of the few people I do listen to time or two. He's going on, how you can't really truly get a horse finished. Of course, he'll get some argument on it, and I'll get some argument on it without getting to a without going to a shank to get that super softness. So first we're going to start the neck rein, even though we're talking about getting a, putting a spin on a horse. So what I want, I'm going to, if they don't respond, I'm going to use my directional rein and pick up that nose. I want them to bend that nose to the inside of the circle when I lay my off rein. So how I get that is by just work at my off ring, I mean my directional ring, excuse me, while my off ring's on the neck. So I'll go one way. It's on spin, I really want my horse's nose to be on the inside of the circle, not to the outside. Like right there, he's on the bend. So I'm leaving my directional line alone. So we'll just do this as I'm warming them up. You know, there's so many different ways to approach a spin. And like anything else. Right there, you saw him cross over on the front while I'm working on his neck rein. I used a little bit. And we'll go to our Like right now I'm going to give some left leg on him, just put my calf on there to move that shoulder over and around. Well, I'm working on my softness for the neck ring. You know, so I'm already doing my prep work for the spin. And it's important to be able to control your horse's body to do it because let's say, and I'm having that problem with Bravey with, since I'm pumping up my speed a little bit. Is crossing over on the front. So what I'll do, I'll just slide past them over, reposition my body. Then I'm gonna do one turn and I'm stop. Side pass them over. Set up, 
reposition the body a little bit, give him more outside leg. And turn. Now that time I screwed up, I shouldn't let him walk out, out of that turn after my spin. Because that's what happens a lot of times. People practice their spins and they'll it's right there he wanted to walk out I checked him because I don't want him to walk out on my spin now I'm just rolling my spur over and get just laying my off brain on there I'm gonna make him stop and then we're gonna walk out so we're going to side pass again. I'm going to reposition my hands a little bit. And turn them. I'm going to stop riding. Side pass again. Right there, I rode two-handed, so that way I can back it up with my directional line. I want him to move off. Off with my off brain. But riding two-handed, I can sort of check him. Like I said, I'm just rolling my spur on it when I'm turning. All right there he's. Now on the crossing over part two, the more comfortable he gets with it, the better he's going to start crossing over. Main thing I want him to do is not hop. So also I might put him into a back, look around the corner as I call it. Give him some leg. Back him up. Give him a little bit of leg. Move that shoulder. Back him up. Give him a little bit of leg. Because when I'm backing him up, I'm setting him up to be on that hiney. So, you know, but the key thing is be able to control your horse's body. If you do that, the spin's going to come into it. I can put Bravey Eagle's feet wherever I want them. So I'm just going to be patient. Right there, he's trying to walk off. I'm going to back him up. I'm going to do it again. And also, my, my neck rein is also my brake line. So if I feel him wanting to walk in my turn, I'm going to take him to the left here. Now, if I felt him walking up, I can pick up my neck right in there and set them back up. Yeah, I prefer either going to a side pass when I first start this or backing them up. I know a lot of like I said, I want to be able to just lay that rain on, rain on his neck His nose, if you watch it, is bent to the inside a little bit. You know, everybody worries about the speed, and we're going to get to that point.
the speed will come. Right there he is too much on his tiny. I let him walk out. And that's the biggest problem you're gonna have. Number one, a horse is gonna start anticipating. Like right now he's moved to the side because he's anticipating me. But that's to be expected. So just don't worry about it. Just you know, like what I would do is just go do something else for a little bit. Then I'm gonna walk him off. And that's the biggest problem you're gonna have is the horse is gonna walk out. And it's just repetition, repetition. Horses, they'll learn to count. They might do one spin, then they're gonna, even there, there was a slight hesitation before I walked him off. Right there, He's, he turns better to the right, does to the left. Right there, I stopped him because he was anticipating. Now I'm going to go back and do it again. Now what I'm doing, ideally, I'll let him settle. Now, ideally, once he gets that spin, I guess I should have had either break, uh, smoke here so I can show it to you. But eventually, what's going to happen is, however, my offering. I'm holding it a little tighter so I'm getting a little bit more speed. Eventually that's what I want. If I pick that up a little bit extra tight, put a little more pressure. I'll get more speed. Like I said, when it takes a while, you want to keep your horse sound in mind and body to get that speed up. So just side pass again. Take him into it. Settle. Side pass again. Settle. Like you say, side passes and all you can really help. settle like I say each time I'm let I want ideally you know nobody's perfect and we're gonna screw up but I want him to learn to settle and you know where he's at I'll add one or two turns or maybe four turns and after a point oh, I'll do four turns all the time because Now you see me pick up my hand once in a while. That's, I'm trying to do this on a loose rein. So I'm just checking him for his forward movement.
And usually I got him booted up before I do this so I keep them front legs supported. And the biggest thing you got to realize, like where Brady's at, he's not going to do it perfect, so as long as he's trying. You know, no, we got four minutes left. But no, he's not spinning like a top yet. But eventually he will get it because, like I said, I could grab Smoky or even Suka for that matter and sit here and throw a good spin in there. But you know, what good is it to do y'all to see a horse that's finished off doing it? So, like I said, the two favorite ways I like putting a spin, like I said, the side pass one and then change your body position. Give them outside leg to control that shoulder and then turn on pivot while they're backing up. Because that's the key thing. When I'm backing up, right now he's moving. I want to do it while I'm backing up, not while, not, don't back up and stop and then do it because you're going to lose it. They're not going to be on the hiney. So, you know, I do the back up in the side pass. Use the independent bit so you control one side without getting in the way. He's past that actually, so. But as y'all, time goes on, you'll see him progressing more and more. So this is just the spin <laughs> revisiting. Like I said, it's nothing fancy and everything. But we know I don't do fancy anyway. So, as I say, be true to horse. They'll be true to you. First and foremost, be true to yourself, people. And to my kids and grandkids and a special person out there, watch Terry Lake KNA. God bless and take care.